Hi, I'm Paul. Today we're going to do an oil change after a trail run. We're going to start removing the bash plate and then the, our motor is hot so we don't have to start the bike because our motor is hot so the oil is lighter. So I'm going to start off here, remove the bash plate. And then I'm gonna open the two sun plugs. It's got two sun plugs, but the back one carries more oil than the front one. So I'm gonna start with the back one. And then open the front one. So I'm going to maneuver this tray so I can get to the oil filter. Now we're going to remove our oil filter. Now we clean up so we can put back the new parts. So we're gonna put the oil. So we've got our oil filler cap off. I'm gonna wipe it so all the dirt can fall inside. According to the spec of the bike, it says 3.1 cubic millimeter. So, which is like a three liter, three liter, 100 mils. But with the oil filter, it will take more. The oil we're using today is a, a Yamaha Loop, fully synthetic, 15W50. So we'll put three and a half to compensate for the oil filter and then run the bike and check the level. So we'll close up the filler cap. We're gonna just wait a little bit, a couple of minutes. Now we finish putting the oil, I'm gonna close the filler cap and then start the bike. After we fill up the oil, we're gonna run the bike for three minutes and then switch off the bike 
after like three four minutes switch off the bike and check the oil level but most of the bikes they've got inspection glass so like this one you can see the inspection glass our oil level so it's on the right spot so the bike takes it on a on a manual it says 3.1 which is stamp on the side of the bike but with changing the oil filter also it will take 3.8 so that's how you do oil and oil filter change on a bike thanks